All right, Brush Monkeys, we are back, and this week we're starting in on the Red Sash Gang, and we're starting with their leader, Curly Bill Brocious, played by Powers Booth. And as usual, I'm going to show you the uh, picture of the pieces that you need. So I'll go ahead and pause here and do that. All right, we're back. And here you can see I've cut all the pieces from the sprue. Here's your base. So yeah, let's get started cleaning them up and, and uh, I think we're gonna do a minor modification to this head. I've got the head with the thing, but his hat kind of curled up in the front in most of the scenes. So I'm going to, um, See if I can heat this up just a little bit and bend it up. All right. So let's see how that goes. Be right back. All right, boys and girls, I'm back. And I have gotten just a little bit of a curve up on the front of his hat, which is just perfect. It looks just the way he does in the just the way he does in the movie. So that's gonna work. Alright. We'll go ahead and uh, pause here and um, get to assembling the rest of these and then we'll come back. See you soon. Bye. Alright brush monkeys, there is our finished Curly Bill Brocious. Raising Hill in the streets of Tombstone right before Marshall uh, White confronts him. But wait, I hear you say this supposed to be the red sash gang and he doesn't have a red sash well I've got a trick for that and it involves these little twist ties here now I gotta let the glue set on this guy before I could do this but basically you're just gonna take one of these little twist ties wrap it around their waist tie it off and boom that's your there's your uh, red sash for your red sash gang it's not really that hard so come back in the, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, I'll show you the red, the finished sash on the guy, and then we'll uh, go from there. All right? See you soon. Bye. All right, I'm back and I've got Curly Bill's sash tied around him. I had to do things a little bit differently. I took one of these little twist ties here, wrapped it around his waist, and I actually ended up having to take the upper part of the body off, wrap the sash around the waist, do the little knot thing hang it down the way it needed to be clip it off and all that kind of stuff and then super glue the upper body to the to the waist but it did the job and it's gonna look like he's wearing the red sash he's still got his gun holsters and everything there and once that's primered and painted it's gonna look the same as any other part of the mini so uh, speaking of priming and painting, I will go do that now, and then we'll uh, come back and continue on. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, we're back, and as you can see, we've got Curly Bill all nice and zenith all primed, and I've got his paints picked out. So uh, I think we're gonna get started on him here. That sass actually turned out better than I thought it would. Um, all right, so. The skin is going to be Gulliman, going to be uh, Wraithbone based, and then Gulliman Flesh. His hair and his mustache are going to be based in Gray Seer and then Basilicanum Gray. His hat is going to be Xandri Dust with an Agrax Wash. His shirt is going to be uh, Mephiston Red with a Caraburg Crimson Wash. His pants are going to be Sigor Brown contrast his uh, boots and gun belt are going to be snake bite leather so they'll be a little bit lighter brown than than the pants 
the uh, guns are going to be the usual basilicum gray with the Necron dry brush. His sash is going to be uh, the Vallejo game color uh, scarlet red. It's a really dark red. It's like a the equivalent is a Citadel's corn red, but I'm not using Citadel. Um, it's going to be that with the Karaberg Crimson Wash. And then his neckerchief that's around his neck there is going to be uh, Corvus Black with some ivory spots dotted in. And of course his basing is going to be the same as the rest of them. Uh, a base of Reaper's Muddy Soil. And then a layer of Agrelin Earth with little patches of Agrelin Badlands on there. Uh, Agrax washed the whole thing. Dry brush with Tyrant Skull. Muddy Soil, the base band. Add a little... Uh, weathering powder for color for a little bit of uh, dirt and dust that kind of thing so yeah he's gonna be pretty good um, again the reason both his guns are up in the air like that is because I'm going for the scene where he was drunk and shooting up the town right before he shot Marshal Fred White uh, Marshal Fred White's coming out to uh, confront him for shooting up the town because he's all stupid drunk so yeah, I think it's going to be uh, pretty good. Oh, his uh, his vest here, I think I'm going to do his vest in Black Templar, just because he didn't have a vest in the movie, but the figures got one. There wasn't uh, there wasn't an option to not have the vest. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to have to have him in a vest. Maybe I'll do the vest in dark red too, so it just kind of all looks like red. So We'll see, we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and get the skin done, and then we'll come back and take a look at how he looks. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, so I got his skin started, and as I was looking at him, I realized that the uh, what I took for dark blue or dark brown pants was actually uh, chaps. So you can see he's got the leggings back there. It shows a little better on his backside and on his crotch, but that's about all it shows. But uh, this clearly leather chaps over the over the jeans. So instead of just painting the entire thing Saigo or Brown, I'm going to paint the chaps Saigo or Brown. But his actual jeans, I'm going to paint with this uh, pearl krill blue. You can see that's kind of a nice little medium blue color there. It's a nice neutral color for jeans that aren't going to show up a whole lot. I'll probably give it a little bit of uh, um, well. There's really not a whole lot of definition to be had there, is there? No, so a wash really isn't going to do anything. So yeah, I'm just going to give it give it that uh, pearl curl blue. Um, like I said, it's a nice kind of medium blue. If you look down here, it's kind of the same color as my jeans, kind of a similar color. So um, that's what I'm going to do with that. And it's a paint I don't get a whole lot chance to use very often. Um, I got the pearl curl uh, blue triad kind of thing in a. Um, uh, asset drop box and so these are the only pro curl paints I have so I'm gonna paint those with that so, um, but yeah other than that uh, I'm gonna shut this off and get back to work on the skin and the hair bye <laughs> all right brush monkeys I've made some progress on our curly bill here and so I wanted to show them off uh, I realized as I was painting the skin that he's got a cigar stuck in his mouth stuck in his mouth there excuse me so I painted that with the same muddy soil that I'm going to paint the base with. And I got out the um, Vallejo Model Color Flat Red. It's a nice bright red color to uh, paint the cherry on the end of it once the brown dries. I got his guns painted um, with the exception of the Necron dry brush. I haven't done that yet. Um, his hat is painted and as you can tell by the wet look, it's just, I just put the shade wash on there. I got his shirt painted and his jeans painted. So I'm getting ready to do, I uh, just put the uh, Sigor Brown in the um, fiber toy tumbler here. The uh, Cyclone tum uh, Shaker. So that's what I'm going to use on his chaps here. And then uh, we'll probably give a few moments for that to dry and then I'll, I'll probably do the uh, I think by then the, the red will be dry enough that I could put the shade wash on it. So I'm going to do a chaps and shade wash a shirt and then we'll come back and take a look at them. Alright, see you soon. Alright, we're back and as you can see we've got his shirt shade washed and his chaps painted and they're looking pretty good. Saigor Brown is one of those really nice ones. It's like a really dark brown 
and it looks really good like you get the really full contrast effect from thinning it down a little bit and then you get a, a deeper richer color by layering it on which seems kind of counter you think you could just go straight out of the pot and paint it on there and that's what I did here and you get that nice kind of flat flat dark brown leather look but if you want a deeper richer color out of it as counterintuitive as it is you can um, you can thin it down and then paint additional layers on it like two or three layers and you get a deeper richer color of those thin layers than you do with just one straight color out of it that wasn't really what I was looking at looking for here this is more the effect that I was looking for so that's what I did here and it came out looking really good so now his pants and his, his well his chaps and his shirt are still wet in places oh and I uh, dry brushed the guns too so those are not those are done with the Necron compound they're looking pretty spiffy so I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a rest for right now and uh, go take a break and then when we come back we'll do his uh, gun belt and boots and his uh, red sash there which uh, again is going to be done in the dark brown dark uh, red his boots and gun belt are going to be done with the snake bite leather so he's coming along we're making some progress on him I did a little I don't know if you can see that on there because it won't focus in real well but I did a little cherry on his cigar too there we go you can kind of see that so yeah I'm pretty happy with how he's coming out so far and, uh, so we're gonna take a little break and come back and we'll uh, paint some more see you soon bye all right we made some more progress on our curly bill here As you can see I've got his leathers painted his boots and his gun belt I also got his sash painted it's looking pretty nice and his vest which oddly enough for a character that doesn't actually wear a vest in the movie does not look out of place on him here looks pretty good so uh, obviously the sash and the leathers are still wet so I'm gonna let them dry for a little bit and take a break here I uh, also got out the Balthazar gold to do the little um, bullet casing sticking out of his belt there and his belt buckle so I just got that and his neckerchief to do and his basing and he's coming along pretty nicely pretty happy with this guy so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause here and let that stuff dry and then we'll uh, come back and make some more progress on them okay see you soon bye alright boys and girls we've got his uh, bullets and belt buckle painted it's kinda hard to tell on that but yeah we got the gold paint on those also painted his neckerchief with the uh, Corvus black and uh, dotted the ivory spots on them. It's kind of similar to a, a neckerchief I did on uh, Doc Holliday, if you remember that video. It's a neckerchief Doc Holliday wears in, later in the movie. But this is one Curly Bill was wearing in uh, a couple of the shots that I reference photos that I used. I also based his base with the muddy earth. So uh, really, all there is left to do on this guy is the basing. I'm going to do uh, a ghrelin earth, like I said, it's crackle medium. So I got to let that dry and then paint the white glue on there and then uh, a ghrelin badlands which is just a texture paint then I'll go over all that with the Agrax Earthshade uh, dry brush it with Tyrant Skull and then give it a little bit of this uh, MIG weathering powder to add a little bit of dirt and I've got some uh, rocks here little pieces of slate that I'll glue on there before I dry brush it all with the Tyrant Skull and uh, I think it's gonna look really good so yeah, next time you see this guy, I think uh, I'm going to wait until all this dries and then I'll do all the basing in one shot. And so uh, I think the next time you see this guy, he's going to be completely done. So I'm pretty happy with how he's coming along and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. And there he is, Brush Monkeys, our finished Curly Bill brooches. Again, built after the scene where he's shooting up the town at Tombstone right before Marshal Fred White goes out to confront him and gets killed I'm pretty happy with how he turned out I think he looks pretty good so and despite the uh, minor changes to the uh, character as far as the, the vest and whatnot um, he still st looks pretty true to the character in the movie so I'm pretty happy with how he turned out so thanks for watching Next week we'll be getting into uh, Johnny Ringo, a uh, pattern after his uh, 
duel with Doc Holliday. So stay tuned for that. See you next week. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Fly Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, go ahead and click subscribe. It's like over here somewhere, right there. Um, that'll Those will both help with my YouTube numbers and uh, bring me that much closer to monetizing this channel and being able to do what I love to do full time. Uh, if you want to get your hands on some of the miniatures I've painted here, visit our Instagram and Tumblr pages. I post pictures of both of those on a regular basis. I post videos on TikTok on a regular basis. Um, mostly to direct traffic here to the YouTube channel, but you know, there's some other stuff there that's kind of cool. So go check that out. And if you want to show some love for your favorite uh, monkey-based miniature painter, go check out our merch store at storefrontier.com slash flyingmonkeystudios to get our t-shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve t-shirts, um, can cozies, aprons, face masks, we've got all kinds of stuff there in a bunch of different colors uh, including tie-dye, we've got some tie-dye shirts on there uh, if you want to check that out. So go check that out, go check us out on our other social medias and follow us on Twitter for updates on the channel as well and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!